Did you know Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back was nearly pulled from every theater in America? Instead, George Lucas had to pay a $250,000 fine. Here's the story. George Lucas wanted Star Wars to be an immersive cinematic experience, and he thought that intro credits interfered with that. The Writers Guild of America and Directors Guild of America allowed this for A New Hope because Lucas directed it and it opened with the Lucasfilm logo. But George Lucas didn't direct Empire Strikes Back, Irvin Kirshner did, and the guilds refused to give the same permissions. They demanded that Kirshner's name appear in the beginning of the film, but George Lucas just refused and released the film anyways. The Directors Guild of America tried to get it removed from theaters but because it was produced in the United Kingdom and followed all UK laws, they didn't have jurisdiction. So instead, they fined George Lucas $250,000 and even fined the director who they said they were trying to help $25,000.